Good evening. How is everyone doing today? I just want to share something that I feel like is um, is lost to our <laughs> to, to the church today. It's something that um, would probably be the least um, the least popular sermon, if if you would say maybe maybe not in throughout the entire world, probably majority, but definitely in America. Um, Luke nine twenty three through twenty five. Jesus said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. For what is a man advantaged if he gains the whole world and lose his soul and be cast away? And, I mean, this this passage right here is probably enough to... um, destroy you know anyone who would try to argue for the the prosperity gospel right but that's not what i want to focus on i want to focus on on this death to self daily um in verse 23 if any man comes to me let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me and i just want to encourage you to to know that this is a daily thing that and and daily means every day <laughs> you know cuz cuz even even though i've been in the lord for a long time i i can get discouraged at times whenever i experience temptation or see like my heart still um is deceitful above all else and desperately wicked and see that uh my flesh still is at enmity with god and and to have this confusion where it's like it's strange to have these godly desires and and be filled with the spirit but to be living in this body of flesh which is at odds against everything that i believe you know and i'm and every day i'm having to um take my body and beat it into submission to to the will of god and and it can get discouraging, you know, because I mean, like I remember I'm, I'm praying and I'm crying out to the Lord and I'm thinking like you would think that it would get easier. You, you would think that it would get like like it's it. I, I don't know how to say what I'm trying to say, but I mean, it does get easier. Don't get me wrong. I'm not sitting here um, continuing to stumble and sin and these things, but I still honestly would have to say that I see that my flesh desires contrary to what the Lord is, has, has taught me, you know? And I think the thing that gets hard at times is to, is to remember this call from our Lord right here for a crucif- a crucifixion of ourselves daily, a death to self daily a death to our fleshly desires daily and and it's good to be reminded that it's a daily thing because it can get disheartening you know when you when you are constantly wrestling and having to do these things but it but it's good cuz god in his manifold wisdom has has designed it this way that we are constantly dependent upon him and we have to like lay ourselves down in absolute surrender and trust to him and and we can only live in obedience to him through the empowering of his holy spirit but we're we're not empowered until we die to ourselves just like jesus it says he was crucified in weakness yet he lives by the power of god so he was crucified in weakness in the flesh but he was resurrected in the spirit so, so in the like manner, we have to daily be crucified to ourselves and then be resurrected in the power of the Holy Spirit to live in that power. And, and if you live in the power of the Spirit, you shall, not, you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. It says, walk in the Spirit and you will not f- fulfill the lust of the flesh. As many are sons of God, those are led by the Spirit. So, but in order to be led by the Spirit, we have to have the foundation 
of, of understanding that every day you're going to have to die to yourself. And, and I'll be honest. I mean, if you're, if you're really honest with yourself and you really are denying yourself daily, it, it gets, you know, discouraging sometimes because it feel it, it contradicts what our, our understanding, you know, like God's ways are not our ways. Our, his thoughts are not our thoughts. Our thoughts are, you know, uh, we turn to the Lord, we get filled with the Holy Spirit, and then we never are tempted again. <laughs> you know what I mean? I used to have this, this understanding, this mindset of Christian Christians that as soon, if you were a Christian, you were perfect and, or you had to be perfect. Um, and that's just not the case. You know, you, you have grace, um, with our Lord to you, you'll make mistakes. You're, you're not going to live completely without sin. And, and I'm not saying that to live in sin. I'm not saying that, that you can't go a day or so without sin. I don't know. You know what I mean? I'm not keeping track of sin. You know what I mean? That's just because God's not keeping track. You know, he's keep, he's looking at our heart, you know, the position of our heart to honor him and glorify him and to, and to seek him with all of our hearts, you know, and even in our foolishness and, and everything. But God is so beyond us. He's so perfect. Like, we don't even know <laughs> the depth of our sins, you know. But if we, can, if we can die to ourselves daily and deny ourselves with what power the Lord gives us to, to be able to do that. And, and just live to the fullest of the measure of the spirit that the Lord has given us. We'll continue to grow in that and and be enabled by him to to overcome. But but first and foremost, you must be crucified. And that crucifixion isn't isn't a one and done thing. It's a it's a daily thing. Um so I just want to share that, and that was what was on my heart, that that we must be crucified to ourselves daily and 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 we're gonna have to to do that that is that's going to have to happen every day until the day that you either really physically die or you see Jesus face to face so don't get discouraged by having to deny yourself and seeing that as because we we live in this flesh right and this fleshly body is at enmity with God so and it's going to be until until we die amen